they are the stars of the one-liner. That select few who expose us to the wonderful world of comedic genius. However, like the faces of Janus, the lives of some of our most famous comedians tell a tale of both triumph and tragedy. Who are these unique and talented human beings who have the gift to make us laugh and sometimes cry? In the early years, blacks were often the brunt of the comedic whip. They were the objects of derision or ridicule. White entertainers smeared their faces with burnt cork and portrayed blacks as dim-witted shuffling darkies with a childlike mentality. Films captured the stereotype on celluloid. At the Apollo, the comedian was an important fixture. All of the greats appeared there. Pigmeat Markham, Nipsey Russell, Red Fox, and Dick Gregory. The indisputable queen of comedy was Jackie Moms Mabley. I'm scared of an airplane. I'm no square, but as you young children say, it just never moved me, you know, to ride in no airplane. The plane ain't got up no ways hardly for something with glue up in my head like that. I ain't heard nothing since. Both ears stopped up. Oh, I was so sick. I said, honey, the students come to, I said, honey, my ears is all stopped up. She said, drop your jaws. <laughs> and I misunderstood her. <laughs> they grounded me in Baltimore, yeah. They... One Apollo veteran, comedy superstar Richard Pryor, remembers the anxiety of performing before the nation's toughest and most acclaimed audience. If somebody said to me tomorrow, you're going to Apollo, I'd tremble. <laughs> you know, that was frightening. Cause was... And then the overwhelming reaction, the reaction, the laughs, this, the theater shakes, you know. And it's part of history to me, because I remember hearing about the Apollo. Everybody, that's anybody black, you work the Apollo. You got to get over at the Apollo. I worked there twice, so I got over. I feel happy about that. I worked there the first time with Mr. B, Billy Eckstein. His wife had seen me on the Merv Griffin show and told him to hire me. And he was reluctant. And I went there. I remember the story. I went and down in the basement to have rehearsal. And I went down and I met him downstairs. And I remember when I left, somebody told me what he said after I left. He turned to someone and said, I hope that ugly funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was my beginning. I loved it. I mean, I walked out on stage, and they had a thing as you go on stage on the wall under, behind your name. You know, and they had a, a thing that said, to be or not to be, Richard Pryor. And I went out. And I clicked. I had a lot of fun there. I met uh, Lou Rawls. He was there, two of the four tops. That was a great beginning for me. I love that feeling. I don't think I've ever had that on stage anywhere else. And I performed a lot. You know, I had a lot of good reactions, but nothing like that ever in life.